Tell me, lords and ladies, how exactly does one beep beep like a sheep? As soon as I figure out if my microphone is working, I'll tell you. Okay, there we go. Hey everybody, what's happening? This is Shadikus, welcome back to more or Galactic Adventures modded. Last time. We, uh, we, uh, we, uh, what did we do? What did we started the tribal stage. Yes, that's pretty important. Starting the worst stage in the entire game. This time, we're going to continue on through the tribal stage and hopefully make some decent progress so we can get out of it as quickly as possible. Spore to me is meant to be about exploration. There's nothing exploration-y about this. Just, just to me. Well, what do I know? I'm just a shad. <clears throat> anyway. We still have minimal forces. However, we'll be gathering more food and thus we'll be having babs. Small babs. Over here, I believe, are still our allies. Yes, we have allies. We also have enemies. Our target next is Cyan. Yes, they'll end up with quite a few more soldiers than us. However, no one ever sends more soldiers than you have. So, if we can get our entire slot full before they'd be willing to come after us, that'd be pretty dang lovely, I think. See, our people are over here gathering fruit, which our fruit sources won't last forever, but it's faster than not fruit. That's now the technical term for it. Shut up. Can I take this moment to say the babies in the travel stage are kind of adorable with how they act? I mean, just look at that. Chase my tail, chase my tail, chase my tail. <laughs> anyway. I want this guy to... Well, I'm going to be building throwing spears after this so we have our source of... Combat. Weapons make you a heck of a lot more powerful. Just to see what these guys have. They have maracas, they have torches, and they have fishing spears. That means they'll be effective against buildings, but not so much against our units. Which I suppose is also a good thing. So let's see here. Yeah, I forgot to turn off all notifications, but oh well. I don't think I need to click on that. I've already done that after all. Let's see, we... 22 food. You know, whatever. We can wait. In fact, I might as well pause until we get something interesting. Oh, wait. Alright, boys. Two arms. Who's attacking? Is it Cyan or Purple? It's Cyan. Put them down. How do you like that? We got PK fire your butts. Yep, enemy tribes can attack you at any point in time, however, they usually lack the strength and competence to be of much threat. Okay, let's see, you guys probably abandoned food over here in order to do that. Let's have you come back and continue harvesting. That... That's like that, they easily weaken themselves and... Leave themselves highly open to being kicked in the butts. I want more babies, because babies are more important than weapons right now, since we clearly can fight off enemies fairly dang well without weapons. Okay, so that's all the babies we can afford, and... We also can't afford much when it comes to food. So what we need to do is get these guys over up here. Wherever the fish are, where are the fish? Well, apparently there's a fishing spot over here, but I can't use it. 
Root. Oh, who's planning on stealing my food now? Is it purple? Well, in that case... Where are you? You? I don't know. Where are you? Note, stopping an enemy tribe from stealing food immediately makes them, or immediately angers them, because, you know, well, clearly it isn't them. Could be purple. I don't see anyone approaching. Could the game have lied to me? These guys have throwing spears. And... Quite a few more numbers than us. That's a wee bit worrying, but I'm not all too concerned. All right, I want two more of you to come up here and harvest by these guys. The remainder of my people will stay here and protect our land. That sounds like a good plan. See. I'm just looking at the creatures around, seeing if there's anything I want to befriend. There is something that'll, or that easily makes me upset when it happens, and there's no way to avoid it either. Come to think of it, you. Let's have you harvest my species' speciesis. Let's ha have you harvest our own eggs. Because, you know, cannibalism. Oi! You two. Calm yourselves with the majestic dance. That sounds like Mexican music. Fabulous. Okay, so now we want throwing spears. We aren't going to attack anyone until we have our full force ready. However, that will be gathered soon enough. But I do want these three here to grab throwing spears while they're there. Just so that way we have a bit more defense. Though admittedly, they tore things up pretty fast using nothing. Hmm. While it could be interesting to attack them with only three, it wouldn't turn out all too well. The enemies don't plan ahead like that, or like humans do. Which I suppose is a benefit. Please excuse that pause, I was having to move the window so I could actually see this same thing. Hey, I want more small babs. Do we still have eggs? Yes, we still have eggs. So, uh... You there. Keep harvesting, please. Yes, our own kind are producing eggs from which we will eat. Because, you know, we're good people. So we're not making much in the way of progress this episode. This is more an episode of gathering and preparing. We'll be about prepared to begin assaulting enemy forces pretty dang soon. Especially at the rate this guy's going. Jesus. Is there still eggs to harvest? It's almost like they're infinite. Layla? That's a... That's a pretty name. See you? Heck.
Louis left. Well, that's enough. Okay, so as soon as our next batch of food comes in, we will be ready to gather our forces. And actually, no one else is harvesting even. As soon as everyone's fully grown, we're going to make our assault on Siam. They'll be done in no time. That'll be progress for today, I think. But that's when the babies are grown, which usually takes a full minute, just, just so you know. I mean, we'll have the advantage against them. They only have torches. Eh. Torches aren't going to help them against us. And so few of them have torches anyway. Excuse the sniffles. Alright. All tribesmen, grab your grab your weapons and be prepare for battle. We have enough food to last us for a while. There's still two more that don't have their weapons. All but one of us are armed. Where's that one? You there. Oh, you're returning food, okay. Alright. With all of us set, we march on the enemy. Let's, let's target some of their torch holders first. Not only do I like spears for their attack, but you can also spread out all your forces in order to help deal with things a little bit better. It's always better to target only one enemy. That way you deal with the majority of the incoming damage without... certainly help if our people would actually target one person instead of turning elsewhere. Next target. We've lost one. Rush forward. That not only attacks, but spreads your soldiers out, as I said. Might as well leave the chieftain for last, by the way. Simply because he's more likely to respawn. I'd accept it if I could, guys, but we're a little busy at the moment. And now we're free to take down their main camp. As soon as this building is destroyed, they'll be permanently defeated. However, you can only have seven of your people attacking it at one given time. I don't quite know what traps do, but I might as well. And then that guy over there is just questioning because I put a trap in his way. Um, so I kind of messed this up just a wee bit, but that's okay. Sorry, brown guys, I can't do anything right now. Oh, uh, and they left. I'm sorry, guys. One of us is low on health, but there's nothing we can do about that till we get back home. Luckily, they won't be creating any more people for a while. Eh, that's just food stealing, and it's coming from purple? It makes sense that it'd be from purple, not green. Enemy defeated. Dru Druosaurs, seizuring.
We came, we saw, we conquered. All forces return home. Heck! One of you, while you're at it, work on harvesting some eggs. A few harvest this. Whatever, doesn't matter. Nope, hit the dang people. And... That's another attack easily repel. Purple are now our sworn enemies. Also, I hit harvest, so why the heck did they attack? Well, luckily, there's a system in which you can befriend other creatures via domestication. You have to have 10 food in order to befriend a wild creature. What is it, 15? It's 15, okay. Give a dog a bone. The dog lets you harvest its guts. Okay, harvest that. Don't kill the creatures. We now have a friendly. I think we should. Okay, uh, that's strange to me anyway. Whatever. <laughs> Extra thick. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Well, there you are. Okay, now we have a production of eggs. That could have ended worse. Watch this. You ins you domesticate it, and then you yell at it to go that way. And you want to know what you do to make certain that it becomes yours? Well, you don't lead it through camp. That's okay. Okay, Buzza. Apparently, that's camp now. Uh, whatever. My people are weird. So. Before we continue, by the way, we have new weapons, flaming torches, we don't need those. We have new instruments, maracas, we don't need those. We have flaming torches, we don't need those. I think most of our unlocks were up in here. So let's see what new things we got, huh? We didn't get any upgrades here. We got no upgrades here. None here. We got war plating, which is useless. We got art or car model, which is useless. For us, anyway. We also got some useless decoration parts. Beautiful. Let me just... Let me just... Let me just... Oh yes, that is so hot. But no, I'm not doing that. Ah, uh, fun as that would be. So, I think that's enough for this particular episode. Next time on the Spore 
Galactic Adventures modded. As soon as I pause this. You can hit P to pause, by the way. We are going to take down Cyan. Or. This is pink? I've been calling it purple the whole time. No wonder they hate me. And we'll also be attacking. Green. What's mine then? What color is mine? Mine is green. What are you. Mine's forest. Anyway, I'll see you guys then. Shadka signing out.